Lettuce drop is a destructive fungal disease that affects head, romaine, and leaf lettuces. Lettuce drop can cost growers in the low desert millions of dollars annually, depending on the value of the crop. Hi, I'm Paul Brierly. The Yuma Center of Excellence for Desert Agriculture is an innovative public-private partnership that addresses high priority issues concerning the ag community. In this video, you'll hear from a University of Arizona plant pathology expert, Dr. Barry Pryor. He'll give us insights on lettuce drop, mitigation recommendations, and plans for further research. Lettuce drop caused by the fungus sclerotinia is one of the most common and destructive diseases. Two different species of sclerotinia cause lettuce drop. Sclerotinia sclerotiorum and Sclerotinia minor, and both species are present in the lettuce production areas of the Southwest. Although these two species differ slightly in biology and ecology, the symptoms of the disease and the management of the disease is similar. This fungus first infects the lettuce plants through the crown tissue near the soil surface, then grows throughout the crown area and decays most of the lower portions of the lettuce head and the upper tap root. This completely destroys the plant and its vascular system, preventing the plant from moving water, and the plant will wilt rapidly, often in a single day. Wilted plants are, of course, unharvestable. The fungus usually persists in the soil as sclerotia, which appear as hard black fungal pebbles that can survive in dry soils for years and years without a host. The sclerotia for Sclerotinia sclerotiorum are irregularly shaped, about one eighth to half inch in size and diameter. The sclerotia of Sclerotinia minor are much smaller, similar in size to grains of sand, and are produced in much greater quantities, in much greater abundance than those of the other Sclerotinia species. This difference is one of the diagnostic features that separate these two species. The most common management strategy for lettuce drop is fungicide applications, generally banded along both sides of the base of the lettuce plant. This protects the lettuce crown tissue from initial infection. However, fungicides currently recommended for lettuce drop management do not provide complete control, and additional methods of disease management are desired. Biological control is a viable alternative to chemical control strategies, and substantial research has been conducted on evaluating commercially available products. The most promising results have been obtained with the mycoparasite Coniotherium minitans, formulated in the product contents. Pre-plant applications of contents have been shown to control Sclerotinia sclerotiorum at levels comparable to and surpassing those achieved with chemical products. However, the application rate of contents required to manage and control Sclerotinia minor in the field are much higher, and the level of control is not as complete. Currently, there are no commercial lettuce cultivars with significant resistance to either Sclerotinia species, although breeding efforts continue. Repeated farming of lettuce and repeated occurrence of lettuce drop results in an increased accumulation of the pathogen in the soil and an increased disease incidence in subsequent lettuce crops. Thus, crop rotation is recommended. However, the choice of rotational crops must be carefully considered as both Sclerotinia species have broad host ranges and many common crops are considered host to these pathogens. Most grasses, however, are non-host to sclerotinia, and so rotation to these crops is always an option. Future research in the management of lettuce drop continues and includes annual trials to assess efficacy of crop protection products, assessment of mycoparasitic fungi and bacteria that degrade soil-borne sclerotia, development of cultural practices that contribute to sclerotial degradation, development of rotational crops that suppress sclerotial germination, and although there are no currently available varieties with noted resistance to either fungus, screening efforts continue to discover promising germplasm. 
And finally, assessment of pre-plant sclerotial populations in soil per field with a pre-plant soil test are currently being developed. As you can see, lettuce drop is a serious disease that can be very detrimental to lettuce growers. The Yuma Center of Excellence for Desert Agriculture collaborates with researchers like Dr. Barry Pryor to bring answers to the pressing problems of the industry. For more details on this disease, as well as other diseases, visit DesertAgSolutions.org.